Hey everyone, welcome to Veronica Says. I am Veronica and this is my daily scent and makeup of the day video. Today is Sunday and it is simple Sunday for me, meaning that the look that I have done is super simple. We'll start off with the perfume that I am wearing today and my review of that. And then I will talk a little bit about how I got this look with a minimal amount of products. If you're new, welcome, so glad to have you. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. If you're returning, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> my fragrance today is one that I agonized over and over and over again about buying it. I put it in my cart, took it out of my cart, went to Ulta and tested it, um, decided that I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. I just kind of kept revisiting it. And I'm talking about Chloe Nomad. However, what I am testing today is the absolute version, absolute de parfum. So the regular Chloe, when it first came out, there were such great reviews from people on YouTube um, and on the Ulta website and so forth. And I thought I really would love to try that. I love the whole like desert vibe kind of thing here. Love that it's named Nomad. And um, all of that was just kind of intriguing to me. When I sniffed it in store, it felt like dry and salty and a little bit fougere, which uh, for me usually translates into like a shave cream kind of smell, a clean but shave cream with uh, men's cologne in it kind of thing. And I am not a huge fan of fougere fragrances. We have a few and I do like the ones that we have, but by and large, I find myself um, not interested in that kind of fragrance as much as others. And so there was something about the regular Nomad that just didn't sit well with me. I tested it out and maybe it was because it was so super hyped up that by the time I got around to trying it, I was expecting magic. I was expecting unicorns. I was expecting sparkles to come out of the bottle or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then the absolute version came along again, got really outstanding reviews. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge. I put this in my fragrance net cart and got it home and tested it. Uh, so I have tested this before I'm wearing it today for a full wear and I have had it on for a couple of hours now. This is the main accords are, uh, mossy, uh, woody, um, fruity and aromatic are the ones that stand out to me. Um, it still does have that like shave cream fougere thing going on. It is a little bit sweeter, this absolute version. It does smell fresh. That was one of the things that a lot of reviewers said about this, which attracted me to it because I love fresh fragrances. I want to smell clean just like the next girl. <laughs> um, and I appreciate a fragrance that's sort of fresh out of the shower kind of scent. Uh, and it is fresh. So this absolute version is more along those lines. The top notes here are a Mirabelle plum, which I had to look up because I'm not familiar with that note. And it was described as fresh and fruity. I think that fresh is right. I'm not sure about the fruity part. I don't get, I don't get a lot of fruitiness in it. Maybe like a hint. It reminds me a lot of romance or maybe is a tender romance by Ralph Lauren. And when I sniff it, it leaves the back of my throat <coughs> really dry. In fact, I want to cough right now a little bit. It has middle notes of oak moss and Davana. Davana. Davana, I had to look up too. Apparently, it's a kind of tea or creates a tea note that is used in chipras and in fougeres. And so I thought, there it is. That's the thing, that one note that is uh, maybe not floating my boat all the way. In fact, it's kind of sink in the boat just slightly for, for me. And then it has base notes of sandalwood and musk. What I will say about this fragrance is it's one that to me smells better off the skin, as in when you're walking around someone and you get a, a waft of it, a whiff of it. Um, it is clean and it's nice and it's simple in its beauty, if that makes sense. However, it's one that if I sniff too close up, it does give me that back of the throat dryness. I get that shave cream thing going on super heavy, and I'm not so in love with it that way. 
However, I do like it like on clothing and so forth. And I think it will be a good scent for the spring and summer here as we go into the hotter months and we're looking for a fragrance that will smell fresh. So I will continue to try this right now. This is a like, not a love. Um, and I need to get used to it, but I, I do. Let's talk about the bottle. The bottle is just gorgeous with this curved heavy glass. And it's got this like leathery kind of strap on it um, and the same thing sort of around here, the same material and it's studded. So, and it says Nomad on the front and then Chloe on the back. So that's my review of Chloe Nomad. Definitely a nice clean fragrance. I'm just not sure that it is for me maybe worth all of the hype that it has gotten but it is nice and I do wanna to continue to play with this. I do a video at the end of the week where I, per I review all of the perfumes that I wore that week. So I'll share my impressions of this during that time as sort of a full day wear. So Chloe Nomad Absolu, if you are here just for the fragrance portion of the video, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that would like to stay on to talk a little bit about makeup and I'll keep this portion short, let's chat. So it's called Simple Sunday and you know, typically we're just hanging out around the house. There isn't a lot happening over here at my abode. <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of work today. My husband's out doing yard work and I might like film a video with him later on, clean the house, do laundry, whatever. But I still like to do a little bit on my face um, so that I enjoy seeing what I see in the mirror. That's not to say I don't enjoy my face without makeup on, but it's a little bit more pleasant when you've got a little paint on the palette, if you know what I mean. So I did this look with eight products. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you watch my other videos, you know that I love a full face of makeup and it usually has double the amount of products. And on some occasions, even more than that. I know it's so crazy, but I do have discoloration under my eyes and right here. And so the first thing that I did today, this was like a 10 minute look at the most, at the most. You could probably do it in five, but I just like to take my time. For concealer, I used the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the Satin Finish under my eyes. And this is in the color Medium Sand. I do love this one. So again, this is the hydrating one in the Satin Finish, which is important because there's two kinds, a regular one and a hydrating one. And I really do like this. It is super full coverage. Um, you might be able to tell that. There's only a little bit of the color peeking through down here. And this was a very light coat. I just tapped here and tapped there with the applicator, which looks like that. It's a big doe foot applicator. And then I used my fingers to just tap it out until it was blended, took a little bit down my nose and over my nose, and then maybe even up through here. And actually I use this on my eye shadow area as well today. I don't usually do concealer for the eyeshadow area. I typically do a proper eyeshadow primer because I find that the concealer will break down some during the day and affect the texture of your eyeshadow. But on a day like today where we're doing something super light, super casual, no problem. I'm happy to go in with the concealer. And then on the rest of my face, just to give my um, skin, just to even it out some in terms of the tone, the texture of it, because I do have highly textured skin, especially here on my cheeks up in this area and a little bit down here. I went in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural uh, Powder Foundation. This one is in the color Medium Gold. It looks like that. And I used a big powder brush to pat it around and then just kind of swirl it in. So this is a nice one. It reminds me a lot of like the Bare Minerals Mineral Powder Foundation, and that does really well. Um, this one will not take me through the whole day, but it should hold up pretty well for about dinner time. And because it's a powder, it's easy to just reapply if you want to. Like if we film a video later on, my husband and I are thinking of uh, filming something together, then I'll just go back in with this. I did use bronzer today really quickly and this was the bronze bronzing powder in the color natural natural from from bobby brown <laughs> i 
having trouble with words today. And it is this uh, cool toned brown color here. So I put that along my cheek lines and around the perimeter of my face. I did actually use this as my eyeshadow also. So this was an all in one today. I did a little bit under my lip here along the sides of my nose and then went in pretty heavy here as a one and done kind of shadow and by the way i took it all the way in here so if you would like a deeper sultrier look with your eyeshadow you can take a darker shadow than your skin color and take your brush use a fluffy brush and just come on in here through your whole socket area right out here all the way out to where your eyebrow ends uh, but if you do it in here it'll help deepen the look and push that space back on your face and create some more dimension than you might normally have if you want the opposite effect if you really want to brighten up your eyes take a light color a light pastel color a light neutral color uh, and 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 do the opposite use the brush then to create light all along especially in here down through this part up through here and that whole area will make your eye appear bigger and brighter but today i was going for a deepening effect and so one and done eyeshadow and bronzer all in one i did do a little bit of blush i could have used this for blush too and just been done with it but i used the essence the blush in the color bespoke this is a super great drugstore blush option for like two bucks. There's the color. So it's a little bit more on the brown side, but that's how it looks on the cheek. Really neat, inexpensive uh, blush that just gives you a little bit more color than normal. And it looks kind of flushed, like my face is naturally flushed. Like I just came in out of the cold and my cheeks are um, warming up as they come inside. On the eyes, I kept it fairly simple. I did want a little bit of definition because I may film later. Normally I wouldn't do like eyeliner on Sunday, but I did use, again, the one that I used yesterday, which is Le Crayon Cole, Le Crayon Cole from Lancome. This is in the color Black Coffee. So, I mean, it's pretty much black with like a hint of brown, but I tried to take it out just a little bit further than my eyes to give my eyes a little bit more um, length on the sides. I have not quite mastered the liner that comes out like the cat eye. <laughs> I get really nervous about doing that. The few times that I've done it, my liner has sort of skipped across this area and I end up creating a huge mess. <laughs> I may try it again in the future, we'll see. Uh, but for today, I wanted to keep it simple. And then I used um, the Lash Sensational Mascara, which is on its last leg. I should probably throw this out because it's drying out to do my eyelashes, a few coats on my eyelashes. Uh, and I curled them, of course. And then finally, if you want an easy lip where you don't have to fuss with liner, and perfecting that and then adding lipstick over it and whatever. One that is very forgiving if you have uneven lip borders like I do, right? Like this side is jaggedy, is that a word? Jaggedy, jaggedy. Uh, in comparison to maybe this side, my lips are sort of off center. I just got weird things going on with the borders of my mouth. So I usually will use liner to help correct some of that and make them a little bit more even. But today I used a lipstick that is really easy if you do have uneven lip lines like I do. And it is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. This one is a what they call a pearl formula, which if you look, it looks like it has like a built-in lip gloss to it which I like, right? Because I do like to put a little bit of lip gloss on over my lipstick anyway. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. This is in the color 300 Coffee Bean. It looks like that. Really easy, smooth formula to put on. Behaves well around the borders. Usually I like a matte lip, but a matte lip, you have to be careful because it will stick where you put it it doesn't move if that makes sense this one which is a pearl formula like a satin right 
you know, I can do like that. And it just kind of evens itself out, applies a lot of color, but quickly. And I like that this color goes with the same look with the Bobbi Brown uh, bronzer one and done. Bronzer and eyeshadow kind of thing. It plays well together. So that's my, you know, simple Sunday look. Took about 10 minutes total because I'm slow as a turtle. I have a question for you guys though. Would you like to see a video where I actually use false lashes? It takes some time to do. I'm still kind of green at that. I've used false lashes a handful of times for special occasions and I have used magnetic lashes. I went through magnetic lashes quite a bit a couple of years ago. I find them very fussy to put on and because I'm one of those people that's kind of funny about getting stuff close to my eye, I blink a lot and it, it creates just a big mess. I don't dislike magnetic eyelashes and I have a bunch, but um, I don't use them quite as much. Would you like to see a look that it gets finished off with full fake eyelashes? I'm happy to do that. I just don't know if people are still interested in that or if that trend has kind of like died. If people are just done with the overdone dramatic fake lash look. But it does do a lot to pull a look together. Like if you have a dramatic, artsy kind of look, a little avant-garde kind of eyeshadow going on, and you're worried about the look coming together, some great eyelashes will do that trick. So let me know what you think about that. So that is my simple Sunday makeup. I hope that you enjoyed this. I do have a full get ready with me that I posted yesterday for my Sassy Saturday using the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette where we did like a green and yellow look on the inside and a purple on the outside for fun, a little bit out of my comfort zone, uh, but just experimenting and playing with makeup, which we should all do. Makeup is for fun, makeup is for creativity, it's for sort of an artistic outlet, and you're just using your face as the canvas, really. Uh, so that's how I think of makeup and how I justify my outrageous makeup collection. <laughs> These are my art tools, is how I look at it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I hope you'll like the video and subscribe if you haven't so that we can hang out again. Have a fantastic day. Take care, friends.